first images are from Marvel's Spider-Man game, developed by Insomniac and announced at E3 this year. The detail of the city is incredible. Minute features such as the pedestrians in the distance would just be blurs on an HDTV set, but here they are crisp characters. As for Spider-Man himself, the texture of the suit is breathtakingly clear in a way that it could never have been before. Here is For Honor from Ubisoft running on the new console. What we look for in games, the intensity and authenticity of experience has never been more apparent. What you may find surprising is that the models and textures being used here, whether they be for the environment or for these two historic warriors, are in fact the exact same ones that were created for the standard PS4. The difference is in the high rendering resolution that PS4 Pro can support. It is simply transformative. Long vistas and high resolution geometry, as seen here in Deus Ex Mankind Divided from IDOS, also highlight the power of the console and capabilities of 4K displays. The extreme level of detail visible in the game environments and characters, such as augmented hero Adam Jensen, brings a greater intensity and welcome new reality to the experience. That sense of reality can also heighten the level of emotional immersion, here bringing us closer to Lara Croft's unique combination of toughness and vulnerability. With Rise of the Tomb Raider, Crystal Dynamics has taken great care to apply the power of the hardware to all aspects of the game, whether it be Lara's hair, face, clothes, or weapons, or the shaders, geometry, and special effects that give the environment solidity and realism. This is truly a showcase of how PS4 Pro can transform gaming. Next up are some scenes from Watch Dogs 2. I'll just let them speak for themselves. to PS4 Pro and the new world of high-resolution display. Here is Days Gone from Sony's Ben Studio, once again restricted to what a conventional TV can display. So this is utilizing all the detail of 4K, but the luminosity and color are quite similar to what was shown at E3. I'm going to turn on HDR now and show you what changes. Whatever it is that your eye expects to see to convince you that something is real, HDR is supplying that. The colors in the clothes, the brightness of the sun, these all represent a level of photorealism that you've never experienced in a game. Daytime scenes are great for showcasing HDR, but nighttime scenes show its potential as well. Here the Freaker Horde has come out to feed. Luckily, crafting is a big part of Days Gone, and Deacon has managed to assemble a few Molotov cocktails. Those who played Naughty Dog's Uncharted 4 may remember this interactive chase scene. You're now seeing it at much higher resolution and in HDR, which makes it even more of a spectacle. Part of why image quality improves so much with HDR is that it's possible to have key areas of the screen, such as these explosions, that are dozens of times brighter than what a conventional TV can display. This is Fetch, the hero in infamous light from Sucker Punch. 
Fetch is a superhero who can harness the power of neon lights. If you think that sounds like something that would show off HDR well, you'd be right. is a comparison of standard model and PS4 Pro graphics on Paragon. Epic Games has chosen to increase the quality of the graphics in a great number of ways. Enhanced visual effects, procedural ground cover, higher scene complexity, greater texture fidelity, dynamic reflections, and more. Warner Brothers is supporting HDTVs on Shadow of Mordor with a number of different modes. Here you can see how super sampling anti-aliasing is used to bring the detail of the high resolution imagery over to a 1080p display. This is For Honor from Ubisoft again, this time playing on an HDTV. You can see how the extra power of the new console is used to boost the visual density of the scenes and also to bring much of the impressive richness of the 4K graphics over to lower resolution displays. Pulse Gear chose to focus on the detail and reality of the scenes. They have roughly doubled the rendered pixel count from that of the standard model, allowing them to breathe further life into their virtual universe. Thank <laughs> you. 